Hey everyone, this is Pastor Jeff Durbin with End Abortion Now. For the past seven years, many of you all have stood with us, you have served alongside of us, you've given financially to this ministry that is dedicated to ending one of the greatest injustices of our day, and that's the slaughter of our pre-born neighbors. God has blessed us in this ministry, and we're a part of this ministry fundamentally because we're Christians. The goal of this ministry is to end abortion in Jesus' name as Christians. We wanted to have a ministry in the area of abortion that was focused on Christ, focused on the gospel, and focused on telling the truth to our culture. We wanted to do this ministry explicitly as Christians under the banner of the gospel with local churches working together across the United States of America and around the world. And that's what God has done. God has allowed us to raise up over 900 local churches, equipped and trained absolutely for free, with no cost to them, to go out to their local abortion mills, to preach the gospel, to offer help and hope to mothers and fathers who are going inside. And because of that effort, we have saved tens of thousands of lives. You've been a part of that with us. If you've prayed for us, if you've given financially over the last seven years, you've been a part of that effort to raise those churches up. Babies are being saved every single day across the United States of America because of your work together with us. So I wanna first say from my heart, thank you for being a part of this ministry with us. We've also, because of your help with us over all of these years, been able to give the message of the gospel on our media platforms globally in conflict with the issue of abortion. It's changed hearts, it's changed minds. Uh, we have messages on our platforms of mothers who came across our content who were on their way to the abortion facility to have their abortion, and now their babies are alive today because of that message. We've been able to raise up churches, raise up Christians to speak consistently to their neighbors, to their communities, and to their legislatures in this area of abortion because of the content that you've helped us to build. So I want to say thank you again for that. And we've been able, through your help together with us, to have bills of abolition, equal protection, and criminalization go into states across the United States of America. Bills in Arizona, in Texas, in South Carolina, in Louisiana, in Pennsylvania, in Colorado, and there's more coming. All of this has happened because you've partnered together with us to end this evil and this great injustice that's perpetrated upon our pre-born neighbors. And so thank you for being a part of this with us. As many of you know, the numbers are staggering. 60 million plus human beings have been killed in our nation since Roe versus Wade. 60 million plus and counting. There's more and more all the time. Now we're thankful that we were able to participate in the amicus brief filed by our constitutional attorney, Bradley Pierce, in the Dobbs case, which ultimately overturned Roe versus Wade. We knew that Roe versus Wade needed to go away. It was an injustice, an evil court opinion that the states should have actually resisted. However, that Roe decision was actually in the way of us establishing justice in the states. And now that Roe is out of the way, we have almost 10 states committed to putting in bills of abolition in our union at the beginning of next legislative session. So we have that happening and Roe is out of the way. I wanna just speak to this for a moment. Many, many people believe that essentially this fight is really basically over because Roe is out of the way. I wanna say that the fight has only just begun. Roe's being overturned has not established justice for the pre-born. We are not anywhere close to equal protection. We don't have criminalization in the states across the United States of America where true justice is established for our neighbors. And so our fight has really just started. We wanna ask you to partner with us in 2023. Once again, we have over 900 churches that are already a part of our network. We are adding more all the time. We are producing more content that is changing hearts and changing minds and saving lives. You can see those stories at endabortionnow.com. And we have 10 states right now that we are working in to put bills of abolition, equal protection, and criminalization in in the first quarter of next legislative session. So we need you to partner with us again in 2023. It is gonna be our most important year yet. So with the 900 churches and with a new website that actually helps you to partner with us in a much more comprehensive way, we have something special for 2023, and that is that you can go to our new website, endabortionnow.com, and you can actually click on your state. You can see 
the churches that are involved in your state that are saving lives, the lives that have been saved, you're gonna be able to hear those stories, and we've made it easy for Christians across the country to fight this battle with us in your particular state. You go to endabortionnow.com, you go to where the states are, you click on the states, you'll be able to see the lives that have been saved, and you'll be able to also connect directly to the legislators in your state. We have everything already prepared for you. It's a pre-filled out form you can send directly to the legislators in your state. We also have a petition you could sign in your state to put on the desks of the people who need to see it. We've done all the work for you. We've made it simple so that you can partner with us in your state to establish justice. All that is coming in 2023. It's our most important year. We need you to stand with us. Since we started this work, this has grown in incredible ways. It is truly the grace of God that has brought us to this place. And it is through believers just like you that partnered with us from the very beginning that helped us we're not a massive ministry. We're not huge. We don't have the tens of millions of dollars coming in like the pro-life organizations. We are a local church that is equipping and training other local churches to save lives and that is going to legislators across the country and saying we demand justice immediately and abortion now. And we've only been able to do this because believers just like you have put your hands in my hands and partnered with me in this ministry, with our team, to make this happen. You've done this with us. So all of the tens of thousands of babies that are alive today are alive because of God's people sacrificing, praying, partnering with us. All of the bills that are going in next year to establish justice are happening because believers just like you join together with us financially. We need your help. We try as a ministry to stay lean and mean, and we try as a ministry to make sure that we're as effective as we can possibly be with the truth and with its very little budget that we need. And so this year we need a little over a million dollars for the budget for 2023. I'll give you an example in one state last year, Louisiana, that bill itself that was unprecedented and it did a lot of damage. Uh, that bill was tens of thousands of dollars to put into place and to work. And so God blessed it, but we need your partnership as we do this fight. So will you partner with me in 2023? Help us as a ministry, as a church, as Christians to end this injustice in Jesus' name. We're doing this as Christians. We're doing this because the gospel. We're doing this because we're called to love our neighbors and to lay our lives down for them. And we're doing this fundamentally so that we don't have to do it anymore. We don't want to see this regulated. We're not starting a business. For us, this isn't an industry. We're a church. We're trying to speak the gospel in this area, to overcome it with the light of the gospel, and we're trying to wash our hands of it and then walk away from it once justice is established. Will you help us do that? Will you join us in 2023 with a donation? Give towards this work. Help us to raise up more churches. Help us to save more lives, many more lives, and help us to establish justice at the state level. Partner with us in 2023. I want to thank you for all you ever have done, and I want to thank you for what you give in 2023. Endabortionnow.com is where you go. Check this site out. You can give there, and please participate in all the new features we have there so you can help us in all the states that we're working in to end abortion now.